it is Tuesday morning. I look crazy. We're trying to get out and get back home before it's we got a heat advisory today. It's already 80 degrees and it's a little after nine o'clock in the morning. So when you're in Michigan it's at, and it's 80 at 9 a.m., you know <laughs> it's gonna get hot. Uh so we're gonna get to the shop. We gotta go to Aldi and then we'll just get home before it gets too hot. I'm still half asleep. When I get home, I'll take a nice long shower. Uh, yeah, my brain's not even functioning yet. It is not even functioning yet. I think I have sleepy in my eyes. I don't know. <laughs> okay, we're at a first stop, paying dad's car insurance. Now, drop off the water bill, go to the bank, drop off our taxes, head north. Got an itchy on the tip of my nose. I don't think I only did one clip yesterday, maybe. Today is Wednesday. I am finishing up some work. It's morning. Well, I have projects to do after lunch, but um, I've got the morning work done. I want to get done. We got to go to the post office and we're going to go out for lunch at Wings, etc. It is their birthday today and Wings are 49 cents. So we're going to go eat some chicken. Um, and then this is later on, uh, after I get done with my work this afternoon, I'm going to put together a pasta salad put in the fridge for tomorrow because dad's going to get up and make sloppy joes and I'm going to make pasta salad so that's what's happening there last night we had bad storms come through here wasn't too bad but I know just west of us over by the lake they got hammered lots of trees down people with no power I heard there were people trapped in their houses from trees being down and I uh I put that down the the, the what's that thing called you know that thing I put, always put that down when a storm comes because there's a tree right outside my window and I figure if my window ever gets broken, at least that would help in some respect. Um, Kitty was not happy because she likes to, she likes to sit there. Is she over here right now? Yeah. Her little head, you can't see her. Her little head's at this end, but she's so whitewashed you can't see her. Um, she likes to sit there and just stare out the window even when it's dark when she can't see anything <laughs> and so she was um a bit perturbed last night when i shut it and this morning when i opened it up she was so happy she immediately got out there and just sat and looked out the window <laughs> oh it is hard when your pet starts to get older and you could see them starting to deteriorate she's starting to get that you know thin old cat look and um yeah I keep watch on her though. She's eating, drinking, peeing, pooping, just like normal. She's just, uh, yeah. Because a couple years ago, I got freaked out and took her in. I had him test everything. It cost me like $500, but I didn't care. Because she kept saying, well, this test is so much. I'm like, I don't care. Do what you need to check to make sure she's okay. And she was fine. She was just used to getting older. So I don't want to do that again where I rush her to the that and spend five hundred dollars just for them to say she's getting older <laughs> again. <laughs> uh, but all right, we're gonna head out to get some wings for lunch. Bye. Here's the table for wings, etc. Dad's looking at the menu because we're not using the menu. We're just getting the special today. Wings. All right, we'll be back. They're fried. Right? Right? They're fried are really good. Yeah, we always get a half order of fries to share and onion rings. There we are. In wing heaven, I'll be taking some of these home. They even had birthday cake. So, yay. It's that time of the year where all the scarecrows are popping up because they like to get them all up by the 1st of September. And here's ours. First time I've seen it. Oh, it's a little girl this year. I told her to surprise me. And she's got her little... uh plunger huh, right by her toilets <laughs> and then they're all there I guess there's about 240 of them around town uh, they're all over they're all I ain't gonna honk I ain't that person and there's one of our toilets working right there beside that building all right now we're going to the post office we're in front of the post office they always do all the schools here and this year they're just doing the athletes 
school bucks because we're the Buchanan bucks. So there's the high school, one of the elementary schools, the other elementary school, and the middle school. So yay. But I, they're everywhere, people. They're everywhere. If you look up the hill, there's one over here. There's one over there. Sometime when I'm down on my scooter, I'll have to scoot around and film some. I just got done doing a really long work project, and it's 5 o'clock. I was hoping to get done by 4, but it took longer than I thought. When we were at Wings, etc., I wore a shirt in case I should get stained. I hadn't even eaten a bite of food yet. I popped the lid off my teriyaki sauce. Pew! Spit on me. My like, dang it. But now, I'm fixing to make a pasta salad to put in the fridge for tomorrow. Uh... I got my I got vegetables on from me. I'll show you when I get it put together, but I'm getting ready to chop, chop, chop. Okay, bye. There she is. All done. I just put in some of this salad supreme seasoning and stir it all in and now she's gonna go in the fridge for tomorrow. I used one whole bottle. I still have one left in case I gotta put in some tomorrow, but she's looking good. Lunch time. What'd you get up this morning and make? Do what? What did you get up this morning and make? Sloppy Joes. Sloppy Joes. And she made. I, they, I sort of met already. They're my oh. pasta salad. So yo, that's for lunch. A Sloppy Joe and some pasta salad. I didn't mention it in the last clip, but it's Thursday. Happy Thursday. I'm waiting for my cousin Joanne to swing by because we are going to give her some pasta salad to take home. So I got her a container she can take and just pitch when she's done with it. This is just a takeout container from a restaurant. Um, yeah, it's like 3.30, almost 3.30 in the afternoon. She's going to stop by before she gets Hank from school. So I think he gets out at 3.50. So yeah, did work, chilled out. It's still hot and humid. chill thir Thursday and tomorrow we're going to Martin supermarket in the morning before it gets hot to buy the few things I needed for tacos I'm making tacos this weekend oh I gotta have him hand me the hamburger out of the freezer okay bye there I hit the button that time I normally would have filmed when um Joanne and, and Addie would come here, but Addie fell asleep in the vehicle, so Joanne did a very quick in and out type of thing. <laughs> um, Addie's gonna be three in November, and she's at the age where she's fighting taking a nap, so when they put her in the car and start driving, she's out, so. Then they were gonna go get Hank from school and go home. She was like, that pasta salad just sounded so good. <laughs> um, so it was nice to see her for a moment. And uh, I guess I won't be back till tomorrow when we go shopping. It's gonna be a chill evening. Goodbye. Clean and shine. Just got out of the shower. We are going just to make regular bank, uh, my bank run and stuff, but then we're going to Martin Supermarket. Originally we were gonna go tomorrow, then I realized this would be Saturday of Labor Day weekend. Let's not go on Saturday. Let's go on Friday earlier in the day. It's like 10 o'clock in the morning. So that's what we're going to do today. And I'll come home and do some work. I just had to do a little bit before I left. I had to call a customer. Um, so yeah, now we're getting ready to go off in the world. Back at the house. We have left once. We went into town and did a few things. Uh, got gas. Went to the bank. Dropped some stuff at the, PO, at the, at the box in front of the post office. <laughs> And now we just swing back by the house and then we're gonna go hit the bypass, head down into Indiana to Martin Supermarket we like down that way. Uh, hopefully the corn looks good because 10 years of corn for a buck, come on. Even if you don't eat it all, <laughs> we'll probably share it. Um, or we might get in a corn eating mood. Dad, Dad and I have been, uh, we ate quite a few ears of corn last week, six I think. So you never know. All right, maybe the next shot will be in the store. We are in, I got a head of lettuce and some pico. Right now I'm looking for bananas. I'm gonna get a little thing of bananas, but I haven't seen them yet. 
they have to be close. I'm in the fruit. There's apples, peaches, oranges. I see them up here, bananas. I got some bananas. We even got like a little olive station that if you want to get different kinds of olives. I gotta get bread, sour cream, so that's in the same area-ish, and uh, who knows, I've already lost Dad. All right, Ooh, check the, the value aisle. This is all the stuff that they have the sales on right here. Oh, there he is, found him. Hey, we're home from shopping. I'm booting up my, whoa, what's all that? Computer, I gotta go, my keyboard, what's my keyboard on? I gotta put that underneath my lamp later. It needs to, I have a solar keyboard and um, it's saying you're getting low on energy. I'm at like 30%. I got these the other day when I was at Aldi. They're light like air. Um, it says they're gluten-free, vegan, fat-free, low sodium. How many calories does one of these have? 38 calories. How do you get into them without I'm not strong like bull. Good lord, I gotta get a. Well, okay, let's just do the old standby teeth. Okay, here we go. I think it's just poofed rice. Hmm. Reminds me a lot of a rice cake. And a cereal that tasted like this. Fresh snack, I don't mind it. There's just a tiny bit of glaze on there. Just a hint, tiniest hint of sweet. But I like them. I'm gonna take out a second one to have. And I opened this in a way that I can't seal it up very well. I might have to get a Ziploc bag for these because I totally ruined that situation. And I'll have to get, yeah, for sure, Ziploc. But now, time to work. Time to work. I don't have a whole lot to do on Friday. Fridays are a nice, easy day, so that's what I'm doing now. Hello, it's evening. I just went to go play cards. I'm heating up me some dinner, which is, the other night we had, um, when I was at Aldi, I got some beef bulgogi, and so I cooked that. We had a little bit of that left with over rice, so that's what I'm gonna have for dinner, to get that out of the refrigerator. Uh, Cause right now we can't fit our corn on the cob or our watermelon in the fridge because this fridge is it's kind of at max capacity but tomorrow we're going to get rid of the last of our sloppy joes either give them to bart or neighbor bill or whoever and the pasta salad so i'm getting rid of some of that i only know how to make one size and that's a big ass bowl that's the size i make <laughs> boy the trees are whipping around i guess there's spotty storms around that are popping up uh but i don't know if we're getting one here or not but i know the trees are waving at me they're saying hello Stacy. hello <laughs> but yeah i am oh tomorrow we do a little running around tomorrow they're having a breakfast at the legion so we'll go there I don't think I'm gonna get, I'm just gonna get something little to bring home. Maybe a biscuit and gravy. Uh, Cause tomorrow night I'm cooking tacos. It's gonna be a taco Saturday. I got our, like, our, I got our pico today and our lettuce and sour cream. I think that's the only thing that I had to buy for tacos. I had everything else. Dad loves the pico cause it has onions and tomatoes already in it. And I like it too. That way I don't have to cut up onions and tomato. It works out really well. I hear you. I hear you back there. I'm going to get me a bowl of cantaloupe for dessert. I got to get rid of our cantaloupe so we could shuffle in the watermelon. Um, but I guess I'm going to get all these clips together and see what kind of vlog we'll, you'll see tomorrow, which is Saturday. Uh, TJF, my cousin Ron and his wife are on vacation. They drove their RV, their first road trip in their RV. Down, his sister lives near Chattanooga. 
So they're going to go down there, down south, just for the week. They'll be back, I don't know, Friday or Saturday, something like that. I know when I saw him on Tuesday, he was ready. He was ready to get out of town. <laughs> yeah, I called Michelle today. I'm like, you've got to get the rest of that stuff over to our accountant. We have to have those taxes over. There's stuff going on in the business right now. We just have to have our taxes sent to somewhere for something. And it has to be done soon because we have an appointment on the 10th of September and they have to have that for days to do what they need to do with. It's just kind of a mystery right now for you guys and a mystery for me of what's going to happen. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> But I gotta go. I'm gonna go eat my beef bulgogi, settle in my recliner. I'm sure I have several episodes of Big Brother since I haven't been in there and watched anything here lately. Uh, so anytime I see anything Big Brother on my Facebook, I go by real fast because I don't wanna know what's happening. I don't wanna know who gets kicked out. I don't, I don't want anybody to spoil it for me. So, but I hope you have a great weekend. If you're in the States, it's Labor Day weekend. Anybody having cookouts? We are not having a cookout. So, Bye.